Please welcome Barbara from Brisbane. What is your pledge, Barbara? This time next year, I will dance on point. Can you explain for the uninitiated what that means? Well, these are point shoes and they're blocked in the front. And dancing on point involves getting right up onto the point of the shoe and dancing on point. Is that painful? Yes, can be. <laughs> Very hard on your feet. Uh, you need strong feet, strong ankles, and generally strong right up through... through the your, core. Through your core, whole body, really. And have you done that before? I have done it as a young person. Do you mind me asking your age now? 76. 76? <laughs> Barbara, you can't make stuff up just for a TV show. Oh, I'm not making that up. You cannot be any more than 55. Oh, aren't you nice, Carl? No. Thank you very much. <laughs> I stopped ballet yeah. when I was 17, going on 18, and haven't touched it until I was 73. And that's when I took it up again. Three years later, and a hip replacement, here I am still going. Why did it take you so long? Was it you, you were you over it at 17? Uh, I think I'd had enough yeah. at 17. It was quite strenuous. Did all the, all the exams and was coming up university and doing matriculation. Is a photo here? That's me when I was about 15. 15. Yes. Can you um, demonstrate anything for us at the moment without notice? What you could do the plie. Well, I don't know in this dress because it's a bit restrictive. Yeah, there you go. Okay. And then, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's so graceful, isn't it? It's so graceful. Um, I know how to do a plie. Oh, good. Do you want me to show you? Yeah. Now, of course, I couldn't fit into the tights anymore. Go on. But is that good? <laughs> yeah, getting there. Getting what there. do I need to do? You need a bit more turnout in, in your hips, Carl. <laughs> Stick, tuck your seat under. I look like a penguin. Ah, oh, I've got a cramp. <laughs> <laughs> There's a huge amount of work that goes into ballet. Is it hard for you to, um, to get on point with a, a hip replacement? Well, I have some restrictions at the moment. What I'm are the not restrictions? allowed to run and jump. Yeah. And I have to be a bit careful with doing point work as well. I yeah. haven't started back at it. And your balance is OK? It's not terrific. I've had a Meniere's syndrome in one ear, which destroys the inner ear. So I have to try and, and, you, and compensate a little bit. You really want this? You really want this, don't you? Yes. Dare I say that you're sprightly enough to... I'm not allowed to call me sprightly. I didn't know that. Well, I consider sprightly for people who are much older than I am. Yeah. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Let us get the, the pledge again, if you don't mind. I pledge that this time next year I will dance on point. <laughs> so lovely to meet you. Ballet dancing on point is a big ask, even when you're not in your 70s with a bad hip and balance problems. Could Barbara get up where she belonged?
Bravo. So beautiful. You are so elegant and so beautiful. When you're doing that dance, how does it make you feel? It makes me feel a sense of accomplishment that I actually managed to do what I said I would do a year ago. Yeah. Did you ever doubt it? Had some doubts in the beginning. What were the doubts? were very difficult. When feet were sore and hip was a bit sore as well. Yeah. Because that was fairly early stages after hip replacement. But things got better as I got stronger through the year. So now I've come out the end of this year stronger. Yeah. Probably more resilient. What, what could be next for you? Where might you dance again? As I have improved through the year, I think, how far could I go? Could you do Swan Lake? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, I am 77. Hey, Barbara, it's a great pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much, Carl. <laughs>